Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Well, it is Not Fit for Print Beauty Foundation Month, and we are entering, oh, the final week or a few days, really, of Foundation Month, but we still have a few more foundations to go, and today we have a brand new one from an old, trusted source. This is the brand new Bare Minerals Bare Pro 16-Hour Skin Perfecting powder foundation. So uh, if you've been around the makeup industry at all, you will have heard the name Bare Minerals. They are a company that was formed in 1995, but I actually think they've been around in some form or other, certainly in as a brainchild since the 70s in San Francisco here of, in California. Um, but this is their newest offering. It is $35 and comes in 35 shades. I bought the shade Light Neutral 25, and you are getting a little preview of it here, but we're going to try it on and do a little bit of a wear test, and I'm going to tell you my thoughts on this product. When we think powder, mineral foundations, um, clean beauty, we think bare minerals first, especially if we've been around this industry long enough. Their loose powder foundation that just kind of melted into your skin revolutionized the in industry. They were the first to do it, and it is a still a darn good product that is sold across the world uh, very frequently. They have a statistic somewhere out there that says how many of them sell per minute still. I mean, they they do really, really well. So when I heard powder, pressed powder foundation, I was, of course, very excited. Let's talk about the compact a little bit first. It is a nice, tightly sealing, pretty little sophisticated black compact. On the top, we have a really nice sized mirror and then our pressed powder foundation. And then in a little compartment underneath that, we have the area where you can keep either the sponge they give you. There's enough room there you could keep even your own sponge in it. I don't prefer to use their sponge, but I do like the fact that it has its own compartment so it doesn't kind of dirty the powder. See, the powder closes over it and the whole thing closes as you hear the snap there, nice and tightly, so it's not going to open in your bag. We're going to talk about this later, but this could be your own foundation. It could also be used for touch-ups on the go, or if you have an oilier complexion, it could be used to touch up oil spots or, you know, more spots where those things peek through on the T-zone throughout the day. It is medium matte coverage. I used it today just as a foundation on bare skin, but really, as most bare mineral products do, this one has a lot of uses. And I'll tell you right now, I think it's really, really pretty. If you are a fan of powder foundation or of bare minerals at all, um, this one will definitely pique your interest. So what I wanna do is I wanna come back with no makeup at all on my face. We're gonna try this out on bare skin. And then I want to do a little bit of a wear test for quite a few hours. And then I wanna talk about it. And yes, as we culminate the end of the month, we will talk about it as compared to the loose tart Amazonian clay powder foundation which is also part of our foundation month here as it is new. So lots to talk about. Stay right there. Okay, let's try this on. I'm super excited about it because I did just take my finger and put a little bit on my face a little bit earlier just to see if I'd gotten even close on the shade. And I thought, ooh, that's smooth. So I'm kind of excited about this. I have nothing on my face at all except skincare. Now you might say, yeah, you do. Rebecca, you got some eyeliner on. Yeah, I filmed the Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Liner in Olive earlier today. Can't get it off. That's a good thing, actually. I could if I used my, you know, Lancome Bifacil, but I, I did it, so it's it's still there. But that actually bodes well for the eyeliner, to be honest. So I have nothing but some accidental eyeliner on my face. Let's give this a try. I have two things to try it with. I have the Wayne Goss Holiday Brush, which I just love for applying foundation. It's so flat topped and dense. I think it might be great for powder foundation. We could also use a wet wrung out beauty blender. So if you like sponges, um, this probably isn't a finger application foundation because it's a powder, but you can also use a big fluffy brush too, and that would give you a little bit less product. So it really depends. And of course, there is a little sponge in here that you could apply it with too. To me, that A, then you have that dirty, yucky sponge, and B, I just think that actually applies it too thickly. So let's start using this little wrung out beauty blender here. I put some there and we can see what we think. I got the shade right, that's for sure. And darn if this stuff doesn't apply nice and smoothly. Switching over here. 
I put a little on this side, but let's just do more on this side first. Little on the lid. Oh, this is smooth, you guys. This is smooth. I have got no primer underneath. I will play with this with a primer uh, over the next few days. We're running out of days here in uh, foundation month, but I will definitely make sure to do that. But on first try, I just don't want to feel that a primer has affected the performance, so I don't try it on with a primer the first time around. And this is a first impression. Um, as you saw in a moment ago, I put a smidgen over here, but really there's nothing on that side of the face so that we can just kind of take a look how you think I did with the shade. Tans me up a little bit, but I'm okay with that. It is winter, so I'm a little pale. This side with a smidge that I stuck here, but really nothing. And then this side all finished up. Let's do the rest of the face. I'll get some makeup on. Again, um, I could have stayed using the damp, wrung out beauty blender. I'm just not, I usually tend to go with brushes. So I switched over to what I was more comfortable with. If you want just a dusting of this, let's say you're putting it over, if you have an oilier complexion and you're putting it over uh, some makeup you already have on or to control any sort of uh, oil that's come up, you can use a nice light fluffy brush as well. Okay, so I'm gonna do two things right now, you guys. I obviously need some concealer and a little bit of makeup on other than just this eyeliner. Plus I'm going to give it quite a few hours so we can also have a bit of a wear test and we'll see what we think. So far, kind of impressed. So let's see, stay right there. Wait, I'm back. Let me just do a little bit of a split screen here before I go put on any other makeup or concealer. Here I am in simply the new Bare, Minimal, Bare Minerals Bare Pro um, and no nothing else on my face next to a stock image of me with absolutely no makeup on, just for a little bit of a comparison. Okay, now I'll go put on some makeup. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I, am, I not only have makeup on now, but it's also been quite a few hours, about eh, three and a half, four hours. Okay, so let's talk about this stuff. It's a very good product. If you like powder foundation, if you have wanted to ever try a powder foundation, I think this is an absolutely excellent one. I think I might like it better than the Fenty powder, which has always been my favorite powder foundation. I think this one might take its place. So let's talk about it. When I first applied it, I went into the mirror because I was gonna put some makeup on and I went to put on my concealer and I saw it kind of sitting on my pores and I thought, oh no. Um, and I would say within 10 minutes it had kind of just settled where it needed to, not settled in, but kind of warmed up with my skin. Um, not in a shade change, please don't think that, but it just kind of melded into my skin and I barely had to put any concealer on. So normally when I put concealer on, I don't know about you guys, but of course I do under my eyes, but I also, for me, I have to do around my nose because I have very bad allergies. And then I usually have like little spots or, you know, hyperpigmentation or here or there, and I didn't feel I had to cover that. And this really isn't full coverage foundation as such, but the powder can really mask those things. So I used a lot less concealer and those little dots, I get little, you know, little darker dots on my face are still not showing up. And this kind of gets better as you wear it. It is very comfortable, does not feel cakey. I really like the way it's contained. What I mean by that is it's a really nice tight clasp. This could travel with you super easily. If you do like to use this uh, little pad that comes with it, it's got its nice little separate compartment to do so. I feel this could be used as a touch up foundation. So you can do little touch-ups through the day if you need to over your other foundation. This could be used as a foundation. It could also just be used to powder down your face depending upon what shade that you get it in. This could become a very useful product. It is from a very reliable company for powders. Um, of course, when we get to the end of our foundation month, we will talk about it as compared to the other new powder foundation, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Loose Powder Foundation maybe apples and oranges, but they're both powders, this one being loose, this one being pressed. And let me tell you, if you're going to use a powder foundation product, Bare Minerals is probably the brand to turn to. They definitely know what they're doing. And I think this is truly quite beautiful. I would say that if you love a powder foundation, you will love this one. And if you would like to try one, I recommend that you try this one. But I have really dry skin, Rebecca. I have normal skin, that's true. Super dry skin, just moisturize a little bit. 
and I will definitely try this over a moisturizer and over a primer as the days go on here in our final days of uh, foundation month. I will do that for you. And if you have an oilier uh, complexion, boy, you're going to love it to begin with. But I don't feel it dried out my skin. My skin, as I said, is normal, but it can go a bit dry and it is chillier out than normal. So this would be the driest my skin would get. And let me tell you, as it warmed on my skin, it just kind of melted into it. It's a very lovely product. I understand that Bare Minerals doesn't get all the media attention and influencer attention about this is a good brand though they make excellent powders this new one being no exception highly recommend this let me know what you think you want to try it i recommend it it's definitely linked below but let me know your comments and thoughts and feelings on this and all other powder foundations if you would please plus give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it i sure hope that you did we have two more skin tints coming up to round off foundation month and then I will be recapping all of my thoughts on all of these new foundations. There's so many of them. So let me know your thoughts. Make sure that you have subscribed if you haven't already so that I can see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.